Have you got plenty in the tank? That one feels quite good. Ooh, that doesn't feel a lot. That feels a little bit more. But how do we really know how much gas we've got left? There's different things out there. Tip the water over and that'll tell you where it is. When it freezes up, when it gets colder, the bottle freezes up and that gives you a line. Um, but what do you do if you've not got the water or you don't want to get the gas bottle out of the front locker? We well, use a little tool like this. So we've got the little Dometic gas bottle tester or gas level checker. And we've got the Truma gas level checker. But what's the differences and why did Dometic do one and why did Truma do one? Well, hopefully we're going to show you and show you how to use them. And are they any good? That's the most important thing. Are you going to spend your money and is it going to be worth it? So let's have a look and see what they do. So our first gas bottle, now that feels like it's got a little bit left in there. So let's try the Truma first of all. Literally just push it against it. We've got a light, we get a little indicator. Uh, it makes a noise and that's saying that we've gone red. So there's no gas there, I presume. Red, still the same. Red, a bit lower. Red. Oh, that's gone green. That's gone green. Let's just go a bit higher. Red. Down there again. Green. So, pretty much about there is how much gas is left in that bottle. That's quite good, to be fair. Let's try the Dometic one. So, again, in the same place, we've gone red. Red, red, now this is about where the Truma one was saying that we've got, oh, green, yeah, oh, oh, wait a minute, it went red and green there, red, green, oh, now depending on how I angle that, that's changing colour, um, now I wonder if that is, when I angle it, I'm going above the gas, and when I angle it downwards, I'm hitting the gas, um, so you've got to keep that quite square to the bottle, that's, I didn't notice that on the true one, to be fair. No, well that's, there's quite a big pad on that one, so it's more difficult to um, put that off level. Um, so that's, that's within 20 seconds of using it, to be fair. Um, it's still telling me that there's gas in the same, but I'm just getting a bit of a red, green, red, green. So I've just got to be a bit more precise in how I actually use that. That's interesting. Let's try a... So again, it doesn't work just on propane. It doesn't work just on colour, actually. It'll work on any LPG, and it'll work on the colour, um, and it'll work on propane or butane. So let's try a butane bottle. Uh, now again, that feels as though there's a fair bit of gas in there, not huge amounts, but I'd say at least quarter of a bottle roughly, just by feel. Hmm. Oh gosh. Now that's saying that that's pretty much empty to be fair. Uh, let's see what the Truma says. Red. Red. Oh, now that's saying that I've got gas there. On there. And then none there. A little bit there. Hmm, so I've, I'm, I am getting a reading on that, to be fair. Let's just try and go back in the same area. Yeah, no. So I'm, I'm not picking up the gas in this little bottle with this uh, Dometic one. Just trying a different, few different areas. And even moving it, um, I've not got... Hmm. 
yeah i'm not i'm not picking up the gas um on this i've got quite a lot of paint coming off the the bottle itself um it's quite an old bottle so whether that makes any difference or not but it's not made any difference to the truma one and uh, if we go back in the same yeah it's gone straight to green still green red yeah so i'm getting same readings all the way around with the truma it's quite interesting that's um possibly a little bit more accurate on smaller bottles the truma so far let's try it on the next one no. oh so yeah the uh Seems quite accurate, the Truma. Let's try it again on the Dometic. Coming to the same sort of level now that the Truma was saying that we've got gas and exactly the same on the Dometic. So, what's the verdict? Um, I think the Dometic, they both do the job at the end of the day. They both do a, a job. This is possibly a little bit more temperamental because it's not got such a, a big plate that's going to the side of the bottle you can angle it slightly and then just get a bit of a false reading um, so again it's it's just knowing that and then making sure that you're using it correctly whereas the Truma one that worked on even a smaller little bottle with not a lot of gas in it was still picking up the gas and the Dometic didn't um, I think it probably boils down to to cost um, if there's not a lot of difference in the price of the two, I would possibly go for the Truma. If there's quite a big difference in the price, I'd probably just go with the Dometic one. Uh, I think when the bottle's getting so low, it's the time to sort of be thinking having a, a swapping the bottle over or getting the spare bottle ready um, to swap over to. So it, the Dometic does the job, but not as well as the Truma. So I think my final verdict is that the Truma product is a little bit better than the Dometic. Um, if it was just down to price and this was significantly cheaper, I would possibly just go for the Dometic. But if there's not a lot, as I say, I think the Truma does win it on this one for us. If you've used either of these or you use one, um, tell us in the comments which one you prefer and if there's anything that I should have done differently let us know, tell everybody else as well. Uh, it's good to get everybody's feedback, not just one person's point of view. So uh, pop that in the comments. And again, please remember to subscribe to our channel um, for more videos, etc., and for different tips. Thanks, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.